Hey everybody, what's going on? Good evening and welcome back to the life of Dave. I have here my Sig Sauer P320 compact handgun chambered in 9mm. And I'd like to show you how to properly reassemble this gun because there's a tiny little detail that if you overlook it, you can't put the gun back together. So I've got the frame separated from the slide and in another time I'll do a full video on DCOing this gun as well as the P365. But here on the slide, we've got our recoil guide and springs, and you know that you just kind of push it forward a little bit, pops on out, and you can just pull out the barrel. Now, after you clean and oil everything in here, and keep in mind that you really don't want to get oil down in there, you got to put this back. Now, if you look on the inside end of the guide rod that wedges against the barrel, it's not perfectly round like the front end is. What's with that? Well, that's by design. <laughs> or so it appears, right? You know, we got these two little knots. To properly put this back together, the elongated side needs to be vertical. So you want the dots up and down, not side to side. The way that's gonna look, pop that back in. Use my thumb here, there we go. It'll look like that, and you might have to wiggle a little bit, make sure it's kind of straight. And what'll happen if you put the guide rod in where the longer sides are horizontal, which will demonstrate that here, so you kind of see the two little holes side by side. And you go to reattach the slide to the frame, it'll go uh, nice and easy back all the way, except for that tiny little part that's important. It won't go all the way. And I believe that's because when it's elongated like that, it bumps into this. So now we'll reorient it in the proper manner here. Oh, uh, yes, you have a lawnmower. Good for you. Good darn Honda owners. Now we've got that back in the proper position. And you can see we got that all the way back like it's supposed to. Nice and easy. Then we can take our lock and lever here and swing that puppy up. There we go. Voila. Then if you've never seen something like that before, this is why it's always good to hold on to the manuals for your guns because there's occasionally going to be a unique little part thing like that where it's, you think it's inconsequential, right? You think it doesn't matter. Why the hell would they put an elongated end on what? It doesn't make any sense, but they did. <laughs> so hopefully... That'll help some of you if you purchase this really awesome handgun. I like it. I've been, uh, so far, put about 400, 500 rounds through it. This is a terrific gun. Highly recommend picking up a 6-hour P320, either the full-size or the Nitron compact here. And in any case, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I am trying to grow my channel here like everyone else in this economy. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Have a great night, guys, and also have a wonderful Thanksgiving. i got to make cornbread to bring down to my parents' house or the family uh, gathering. So, hopefully that'll be fun. Take care. Until next time.